Recently, the stock market looked at crypto and said, <laughs> you guys think you have volatility? Hold my go gain. Now out of that chaos, a new hero has emerged. Bond investing, the buying gold of the don't live in a bunker world. Now bonds are basically IOUs from the government or companies to people. Oh jeez, I just promised to build bridges with a trillion dollars that I don't have. If you give me that money now, I'll give you that same money back in 10 years with a little bit of interest sprinkled on top. What do you say? Now when Americans practice our quadrennial election year national debt panic, it's all these little privately held IOUs that we're actually talking about. So okay. We got these promises of money with a little sizzle of extra funds on top to get people to buy into it. Eh, makes a bit of sense, but what are we talking about? Well, things get interesting because these bonds are some of the closest things that economists have to a crystal ball when it comes to predicting the future. We can gauge aggregate economic sentiment by measuring how much future money the government has to promise in order to get people to buy in today. So my goal with this video is to kind of give you guys the rules of the road to what economists are looking for when they look at these bond yield rates and then set out the economic tarot cards for you guys and ask what you see. Now starting this episode we gotta talk about stocks and bonds because they really have a love hate relationship as they compete for your money. Stocks they're the dreamers and full of aspiration. If you give me $10, I'll give you 50 in 10 years, maybe 60, maybe 5. Take my hand and we'll go on a risky adventure together. Bonds on the other hand, well they're the workhorse. Give me $10 today and I'll give you $11 in 10 years. Not 12, not 9, you're getting 11. Simple. So how is this used to predict the future? Well, as long as the government is spending beyond its means, it's going to be issuing fresh bonds. Fortunately for us, but unfortunately for conservatives, that means that we're in a perpetual state of daily bond auctions. Now, Because these auctions happen every day, you can really have your hand on the pulse of investor sentiment and how much they're willing to spend. A generally helpful rule of thumb is, if you see on the news people saying bond yields are going up, that means that the government is having to promise more future money in order to get the same amount of money today. They're a harder sell, so you gotta add a few more Jerry's on top of that Sunday. $10 today for $11 in 10 years? No takers? Alright, fine. How about $12 in 10 years? Sold. Phew, that was about to get very expensive. Now with uncertainty in the stock market right now, you probably expect a guaranteed future payment would be incredibly sought after. So why are bond yields going up as stocks go down in value? From everything we've talked about so far, that would kind of feel like jumping out of a plane and then after that trying to score a great deal on parachutes. Well, There are really two factors pushing up bond yields today. First. The most obvious reason. With things going the way they are, the promise of maybe $11 a few years out is looking a lot less appealing than it used to. Huh, factoring in inflation, that future $11 should be able to buy me half a shot glass of gasoline. Now Barron's explained the recent 10 year bond yields jumped to 1.8% when they wrote, in part, the yield is rising because investors are starting to demand higher returns, given that they expect an annual rate of inflation of more than 2% over the long term. If the average inflation is higher than the yield you're getting, well, you're going to end up losing money. Now, this can of beans, well, it says right here it expires in a year. I'll give it to you now if you give me two cans of expired beans later. Ha! Sucker, I doubled my investment. Wait, wait, what smells so weird? Now, gambling in the markets with a depreciating asset is going to make a lot of people hold out for higher promised payouts. The other factor pushing up yields today is the Federal Reserve. Now, in this case, it's less fear and more optimism. People are hopeful because it looks like the Federal Reserve is about to hike up rates several times. 
and how to paint you a picture of what people are worried about, it's Monday, and you're all excited because guess what? You just bought 11 future dollars for $10 today. <laughs> what a steal. Can you imagine how angry you would be if the next day the treasury turned around and was selling 12 future dollars for $10 today? Now, potential investors are looking at the future higher rates that are probably coming and saying, yeah, you can either wait two months to get my money or start paying those yields today. You could actually see in real time how Jerome Powell's announcement of tightening monetary policies was impacting the yield on 10 year bonds. Now, with bond yields on the rise because of inflation and potential future rate hikes, you're probably guessing the demands for bonds has bottomed out. I mean, have you seen the amount of future money that the government has had to commit to sell these things today? Whew, boy, going through the roof. Again, let's hold our horses a little bit with these assumptions, because recent treasury auctions have been met with strong demand. Investors and dealers submitted bids totaling 2.8 times the amount of debt that was being sold at Monday's auction, the highest level since April 2020, the last time stocks really bottomed out. Above average bidding is usually a sign of robust appetite for, bet, for debt. Now, of course, the sheer presence of a lot of bidders at an auction doesn't mean the price is going to be higher. For example, try auctioning off a dollar, and I don't care how many people are in that room, I can guess what the winning bid is going to be. Yeah, we all know exactly what it's worth. You don't hear two dollars. Now, these newly minted bond investors are considered probably refugees from the recent crypto crash and the wild stock market swings that we're seeing going around right now, looking to lock up a bit of their cash. Now, based on the pushes and pulls, analysis are surmising a few things. Investors are anticipating continued inflation and or rate hikes. They're also migrating away from riskier assets to guaranteed future incomes. And unfortunately, on the political side of things, the pandemic days of Uncle Sam being able to hit up the people for debt relief on the cheap, well, they're numbered. No 0% interest on loans anymore. Still, there are more people than ever jonesing to cut our Uncle Sam a check if the price is right. Read these tea leaves however you may for the future, but when you see articles about bond yields going up and down in the coming days, those articles are going to be attempting to measure these three factors I just explained. Measuring investors' expected inflation and interest rates, and trying to measure investors' faith in riskier financial markets by tracking how many of them are willing to lock up their cash in these longer term IOU schemes to the federal government. Uncle Sam, he's good for it. And for good notice, I'll just say this one more time. Higher bond yields means America is having to promise more future money for the same amounts of money today. Thank you, and that's all I have to say about that. Hello, YouTube. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to hit the like button and click that subscribe button while you're lingering in the area. Ring that bell so that freedom will continue to ring. And if you want to support nonpartisan news looking into the slightly overlooked, remember to join this group of exceptional individuals floating over my left shoulder. Thank you, and as always, have a great night.